y'all. I made it here earlier this time. My name is Dion, and I'm here to do a soft glam look. Welcome to my makeup therapy session. I decided to get on here a little bit earlier today. By the way, I do have these earrings available, a few more. They are $5 a piece if you're interested, let me know. I just popped them on because they match my, um, I forget this superhero's name. I always want to call him Ultraman. That ain't Ultraman. Ultraman is from when I was a little girl. I forget his name. Anywho, I needed some oranges and some blacks and all of that. So anyway, this soft glam look, however, is not going to be the real bright um, stuff that I usually do. I'm going to do a soft glam look, something you can wear like day to day. So as usual, I thought I was live a moment ago. I was talking to nobody. <laughs> Hi, everybody, by the way, that's hopped on. Um, so I've already powdered my eyebrows and now I'm going to start working on those. I always start with my brows first. Shoot. This is my pencil. It's Absolute New York. And I forgot that from yesterday, I'm running out of this. So, but that's okay. I'm just going to use this kind of as a guide. So we always start on the bottom. As you can see, I already have eyebrows, but they get real sparse on the tail. I always do my eyebrows because the look looks more polished when your eyebrows are done. So. But yeah, I wanted to get in here earlier this time, y'all. Allergies are kicking up. That was not a COVID cough in Jesus' name. So I'm kind of just um, putting a guide of the shape that I want to do. Now, how is that the case? Matthew's calling me. Hold on, y'all. Hello? I knew you were going to call me soon as I got right in the middle of something. As soon as I woke up. You just woke up? You ought to be shaming yourself, Michael. What time is it? 2.40. Well, you right about that. I just exposed you all on Facebook. I'm on live! I'm on live. <laughs> I know, right? You want me to um come over there? Okay. You still wiping the sleep out of your eyes. Huh? I can't come there. Okay. Love you. Hey, Lena Chapman. Girl, I can't. What? What's wrong? Did you find the um password? I found that I'll say two turns and from Well, it'll say from you because that's your printer. Okay, so I can take two out. You can take that out and put in the email of the person you want it to go to. Yeah. It can go directly to him. Okay. Hey, Mary L. Hey, Roger D. Hey, Cousin Rat. Hey, Lena. Okay, y'all. I'm going to do a... What do they call it? A wearable look. Because the stuff I be doing, I be playing. I'm still halfway playing. But I'm going to do a more wearable daytime look. And I'm going to try not to take forever. I'm going to try to do it as if I would on a morning that I'm working. Because as long as I take on these lives, I do not take that long. 
when I'm getting ready to go to work. Believe I don't. I make it happen in about 45 minutes. And I can, okay, see, I'm running out of pencil. So I might have to switch to my brown. This is in the color smoke. If y'all don't mind, share out this video, please. I would so appreciate it. That way more people can see. Um, men and women watch this kind of stuff because we just like to see the transformation. It is totally fun and a blast to me because I like to just, I don't know, it's like art. I like to watch my face transform. And it's about to transform. See all this? All the raccoon eyes. <laughs> that concealer is about to just wipe the slate clean. So anyway, what I'm doing is um, kind of just giving myself a guide. Well, I'm sort of filling in my brows. I can't fill them in too much with this pencil because she about to run dry. I hardly have any left. Look at that. So what I'm going to do and I've got one in brown, but it's not going to do right because my actual eyebrows are black. So I'm going to go right into the pomade. A lot of times I'll do either straight pencil or I'll do pencil mixed with pomade. So here comes the pomade. That's by Anastasia and this is in the color Ebony. Like I said, I have to do black because my natural eyebrows are black. Y'all let me know if you can't hear me or anything weird like that. It should be fine because um, I've got music playing in the background, but it's non-copyright. So Facebook shouldn't be tripping, turning me off and so forth. Got the corny little non-copyright. I'd rather play my gospel music, but you know, they be hating. I'm like, how is it TikTok can allow copywritten music, but Facebook cannot? That doesn't make any sense to me. Anywho, moving forward. So how's everybody? Y'all doing okay? Thank you so much for stopping in. I thought I'd come in and kind of get this done a little earlier than usual, so I won't be so... So I'm going to be putting on makeup just to immediately wash it off. <laughs> so to make sure that you don't see my brows through the product, I'm going to stamp this pomade product on and it comes, it's like a putty like that. So what I'm doing is getting it on my little angle brush. And I'm just stamping it in. Uh-oh, I messed up, but that's okay. I'll cover it with concealer. But I've learned swiping it across doesn't work as well. So I stamp some in. Then I take the spoolie side. Girl, Mary, I need to do the same thing. I've been doing that in other areas of the house. But in this room, I haven't really got to it yet. So I'm trying to push some of this product this way rather than me actually placing it that way because I don't want that to be too harsh. Okay. I don't want to lose any of that product, so... Kind of rubbing it onto my eyebrow which looks crazy but it gets it on there so it's nice today y'all well it's kind of warm it's supposed to get up to 84 degrees here in st louis missouri but then tomorrow it's supposed to drop back down 
chilly again in the 50s. I'm like, boy, I tell you. Winter just don't want to let go. I'm like, what are... So it's supposed to drop. The temperature's going to take a nosedive this evening. Till June. Wow. I don't know about me. I'm supposed to go back next week. But then I got a phone call telling me that I'm on furlough. So starting next week, I'm, I'll be scheduled for one day in the department I normally work in. And then there's a possibility I'll be scheduled to go wherever they assign me other days of the week. So I'm kind of just playing it by ear because I don't know how, how it all is going to work. But I'm just going to trust God. That's about all I can do in these crazy times. I'm trying to get this product off, y'all. Okay, this is looking crazy right now, but it's going to be much better in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to grab my concealer Anastasia concealer this is no longer available they don't sell this anymore but I found some on a um, website that tends to still have this kind of stuff hey I'm gonna brush here this and I've got this little morphe brush just to give you an idea how small it is so I see people using a bigger flat brush for this I don't know I use a smaller it seems like I can control it better so that's how that looks on the inside and I'm just getting some product on there so this is when you start carving out the eyebrow hi Erica So this is when you really shape and define it. Tracy! So I'm shaping the underside of my eyebrow. Then I'm coming to this side. And y'all, if you don't mind, please share out this video. Like and comment. Facebook likes to see interaction. And heck, I like to see interaction. Y'all, I messed up right up here. So I'm trying to correct what I messed up. different color you really should go with a color closer to your skin tone when you do the upper part so this won't look to you like it's darker but it's darker because I noticed it on camera it looks like the same shade so but it's a little bit deeper I couldn't find one that was darker than this. Okay. 
Now, I'm going up above. So yeah, it'll be interesting how next week's gonna be. I don't know what's in store. When I go back to work, I've been off for, this is my second week. My cousin worked for a government agency. I won't name it, but. She had been using her personal computer and her personal computer crashed because she says it's old. It just couldn't handle. So my companies ought to be sending you home with a laptop when they want you to work from home. Okay, y'all, so I need to work on that a bit. I can tell. I don't even know why I put that thing down. So even on weekdays when I'm going to work, this part takes me longer than anything. This always takes me longer than anything. take this duo glue this is the kind that comes with the applicator and I actually brush this onto my brow hairs because my eyebrows are kind of thick and they are raised up off the skin I mean because that's just how hair does so I put that on to kind of help flatten them and get more control of them. So I'm going back with my spoolie and just kind of carefully brush that in. And as I go, I might be continuing to touch up the brows. But that'll kind of help lock them in place. Uh-oh. I'll be dang on. I dropped that thing. So, anywho. Now, I'm going to start blending this in. Because we don't want to keep that thick like that. We're getting this upper lid area ready for eyeshadow. So I used to always 
go straight there and smooth that down and it was giving me a crazy boxy look so I'm like okay I got to not do that because that looks crazy and that still needs some work so let's see coming back to my spoolie Oh, the glue has that locked in. I should have done this before. It's locked in, y'all. That's okay. Hey, Tamika. I'm going to work faster this time. So the brows, I had to get them. Girl. <laughs> I had to get them together. But I'm going to do a soft glam, like I said. Okay, now. So I've got all moisturizer and all that already. And. Shoot. I didn't pull down my primer. What am I going to do? I'm going to use a different primer. Because I didn't get it out of the thingamajig. Heck, where is it? Oh, here we go. So this time I'm gonna use um, Poreless by Tarte. And it comes out like that. And of course, one purpose of the primer is to, thanks for the heart, help the foundation lay better. pretty much oily all over so I put this all over all right next we'll deal with these acne scars I showed that pretty quick LA um, pro concealer LA girl so it's an orange kind of um, cream. I need to go get some more. Or I might have some more somewhere around here. Cover these areas up so they won't show through my foundation so much. Sponges ready, my sponges ain't damp. I don't usually forget stuff like that. concealing y'all some not all of this is acne scarring most of those are moles that the older I get the more of them I get come on now Okay. And I don't 
I have to, but I could put a little under here. The concealer that I use, though, is going to take care of this real well. And the warmth of your finger, of course, helps to blend this stuff in. Okay, next, here we go. So I'll just leave that sit right now and this is what I will do. I have Born This Way Multi-Use multi -use Sculpting Concealer in the color Chestnut. And what I'm doing here is just getting the lid ready for eyeshadow. almost empty so so yeah I'll just use my finger oh I got a broken nail y'all we have to learn how to do things for ourselves because well I haven't been wearing acrylic nail or gel nails anyway because I work in ophthalmology and I can't come at people's eyes with those long claws those nails are pretty, but shoot, they're not practical for me, and I can't type with them either. <laughs> so, but I did mean to kind of trim them and redo my clear polish before it came on. I'm sorry, y'all. They looking red. My nails. So I'm just kind of blending that in, flattening it in. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get my sponges ready. I really need them. Y'all, I'm going to have to go get my sponges. It won't take me long. Okay, wait a minute, y'all. Be right back. Feel much better ooh, because I got my sponge so I saturated it and I'm now just you know squeezing you don't want it dripping so I'm squeezing out that excess now If it's too wet, it'll pull the product off. That you don't want. Now, let me scoot up. Oops. My bed sits up kind of high. Ooh. Oh my gosh. See, that's why I don't like to get up because I'm clumsy enough. So I'm going to finish blending some of this in. Still kind of do, kind of wet, wet. Y'all Sharon, Sharon's Karen. Okay. 
a little blending. Now, here we go. So now I'm ready for the eyeshadow. I don't know which palette I'm gonna use, but I got some that are inexpensive because I get bougie with my eyeshadow palettes. Hey, Denise Stewart Grant. Um, I'm sorry, I should have said your whole name. <laughs> um, so this is ColourPop Nude Mood. So, let me look at these colors again. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much for sharing. The packaging is really cute. I think I paid like $14.95 for this palette. And these are the colors. So I'll probably use, but thanks for the lights. Probably use mostly this one. I did bring another one. <clears throat> this is Juvia's Place, so they have a nude palette as well. And this one's about the same price, I guess, about $15 or so, I think. Between 15 and 20. This is one of Juvia's Place's smaller palettes, but they are known for being crazy pigmented. So it's got six beautiful shades like that. And these are really big pots. So yeah, I think I'll work with those. Those are similar colors. So let's, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But first I'm gonna do this ColourPop one. Now. How do I want to start? So we want to create like a daytime look. Wait, I just thought of something y'all. See how that's starting to crease already? Okay, let me do this. I'm gonna go back in with some more. See, I have hooded lids, so I have to always fight the good fight. <laughs> Again, going down with the finger. Because I want all my skin underneath covered. So when it starts creasing, it's telling me, you know, my skin is trying to show underneath. And I really want to blur that out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and set. Sometimes you'll see people setting this and sometimes they don't. I'm gonna go ahead and set. If I wanted to do something that was real deep, dark colored in the crease, I would not set it. And then that way, oh, my other brush is over there. That way, um, I can get the most color pigmentation. But we're going with soft glam today, so I'm back in my Laura Mercier. Here's a, a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe B13, I think that says. So, dabbing in a little bit of that tap off the excess really close the lid because I want this to get into that crease so it can set that and keep that from creasing got some more tapping it Okay, so just a little light, you know, coating. That's all you need. Don't want to put too much because you know what it'll do? It'll mute out the color of your eyeshadow. It'll make your eyeshadow not stick as well. We don't want that problem. So this is an e.l.f. brush. I'm grabbing it just because of its shape, really. And let me see. I'm first gonna go in with this shade of brown, which is called All Natural of the ColourPop palette. It might be skin tone shade, let me see. 
get my mirror. So I'm first just kind of dabbing it. I'm trying to see how the color, you know what? That's like skin tone. And that's fine, but we'll just say this is the transition color. So I got a bunch more. And we'll put that slightly above the crease. And really, it's like the same color as my skin, so you can hardly see it, but it will still serve a purpose. Now, I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown right there. I'm gonna try the same brush. See how that's deeper? It's like a reddish brown. Going right in the crease with this one. So it's right at my upper eyeball, I can feel it. So I'm just building up that color. Hey Kim, thanks for joining. Oh, I don't want to go up too high. See, and I don't want this to be too, too dark. Because it's supposed to be a daytime. Now I'm going to switch. Let's see, to a clean brush. This one. And with this, I'm going to kind of blend. So now you see me doing that circular motion like that. And there was nothing on this brush. I'm kind of winging it out a little bit, see? I don't want to go out too far because I haven't even put foundation on yet. Okay. So like this is something I would wear to work. Now I like to go in with like a frosty kind of shade on the lid. Sometimes I'll do all mattes. I mean it just depends. And I know these are frosty enough that I could just boom just start it on there. And maybe I will for the people who want to know how to do it without having a fool with the cut crease in and all that stuff. So let me find somewhat of a flat brush. Here's one. So it's like a bigger version of that one I used earlier. It's a Morphe 167, I think that says. So I'm just going to go in, I think this lighter frosty kind of gold. Hey, Felicia. So let's see. So I got some there. I don't know if y'all can see that. That light is so bright. Oops, that's not a mirror. So 
so I'm not cut creasing or anything this would pop even more if I did they say you can also spray your brush not soak it but just gently spray it lightly spray it rather but I'm just patting this on See how that's coming in? Real simple, y'all. This color is called Wink Wink. is so boring I want to change it to some gospel. May! Hey girl! So then I go back in with this tapered blending. much it for the upper lid y'all so now I'm gonna go in I'm not getting ready blah am I talking I'm not getting ready to mess up a bunch of brushes so I'm going in with that same elf brush this is a brush cleaner it cleans off dry product so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so I'm going back into that lighter brown again of the ColourPop Nude Mood. And putting that right above the crease as like a transition color. I'm just kind of patting it on it is like the same color as my skin so you don't necessarily see it per se but it's there to help the next color to come on and blend so now I'm going into the next color. So I started with this as a transition shade. I'm going in with this deeper reddish brown. Same brush. And imagine a V out here or a Pac-Man. Just tapping that right into the crease so this brush is hitting right above my eyeball see that so you place it first and I'm not gonna do much because I don't want it real dark or anything uh -oh. now I'm taking what was initially a brush that had nothing on it And I'm just blending that. All the way across.
going back to my shader brush, I guess this is called, into that color up top. You know what? I'm now going to go into this shimmery color that's right in the middle. And I'm actually going to press that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That's like a bronzy color. both eyes. That one is called Put On Airs. H-E-I-R-S. <laughs> okay. So whereas this is more like a champagne color, this is more bronzy. dark brown just dabbing a little bit on here to kind of fade that and blend that in moment and we're gonna work on the face so I got my orange concealer to help cover up some of these dark marks acne scars and moles now let's see I'm just gonna grab what I've been using the past couple days. Eh, don't wanna use this. I'm digging this. So here I come again with my minted stick foundation. In the color T40. Turn this lighting down a little bit. Is that better? it this time. So I'm going to use the
Now some days I'll go in, I'll put like two coats of everything on if I really want super full coverage. Cause this is, I think, medium coverage, I'm thinking. And I say that because, hey Sherry, I can still see some of my imperfections coming through. But this is enough for my purposes, I guess. For today, anyway. But you know what? It would cover more if I used a brush like I did last night. So, I'm going to go ahead and put another. I'm just going to be generous. What time is it? Okay, it's three thirty. All right, so now to deal with that. way this first shade will be in the color um, butterscotch so this is a really light color raccoon eyes so then under that I put this chestnut shade oh my gosh I didn't mean to put it up my nose Hmm. 
that just took 10 years off my face. I'm gonna start putting on the contour. Again, Black Radiance in Espresso. see when I go back to my dermatologist regarding that earlobe repair. I don't want to miss my appointment. I'm going to have to see where, where did I even put that information. Lordy be. So, just give myself a jawline here. Got my pout. Patricia. Now what? Fifteen, no ma'am. <sighs> Searching for music for your next video? Then you need to check out our list. With amazing new music added daily and one simple license that covers everything. Our list is the music licensing platform for all creators. Artlist, eh? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you caught me, sis. I was trying to come on earlier. This is supposed to go upward. I try not to go in a circular motion because then you're just rubbing the product right back on. But. I want a little more concealer under my eye. Excuse me, I'm just going to use this one.
Okay, y'all, we're almost done. Just blending so there aren't any harsh lines of demarcation. Okay, now, setting powder time, Sasha Buttercup. I got this from Amazon for, I'm sure it was around $10 maybe. I like the yellow color that it has and the fact that, um, I don't know, I just like it, shoot. I don't even know why. Oh, I don't usually put that much, but oh well. It sure won't go to waste because my skin is oily, and that's partly what this is for. It sets the uh, concealer you put under there. Stops it from creasing and all. But it's also there to help that area stay matte Something itches right here, something terrible. I didn't blend it well. Okay, so now I'm going to sweep off some of this bake, the Sasha powder. Then, for an all over set, I've got. Naked Skin Urban Decay. It's a powder. And the color is called Naked Dark. <laughs> so, I haven't used this in a minute. So, it's like a deep reddish brown. I'm going to shake some of it into this cap. Shaking it around, kind of thinning it out. Then I'm dabbing that brush. And just setting all over. I forgot to um, bronze. I'm going to do that. 
don't want to go over that yellow that I just placed. This year has been the best year ever. So my business blew its goals out of the water. I moved into my dream. Hmm. And Getting stuff everywhere, y'all. This is in the color mahogany. That is correct, Patricia. I have this is my second week off. Ain't that something? So what they allowed me to do where I work is to take a medical emergency leave. And the reason I was able to do that is because I have a medical condition that supposedly makes my immune system more susceptible to catching things. I have RA, which is rheumatoid arthritis. I have it really mildly. Um, but um, I have it nonetheless. I actually don't get sick easily. That's my norm, but it has nothing to do with that. Just the fact that I have that diagnosis and I see a doctor regarding it. Um, I had my doctor to write a letter, you know, verifying that, yes, I do have that condition. And I sent it to my employer's um, leave department. And so they gave me two weeks off as an effort, you know, to their, their goal was to try to keep as many people away from the hospital as possible. And so, um, yeah, so when I'm supposed to go back next week, was scheduled to go back Monday, but I got to actually play it by ear because now I'm considered on furlough. So, um, I'm going to put a little liner, y'all. That's a commercial on YouTube. This helps to uh, camouflage the eyelash band is one reason why I do this. Um, when I do this for work, I don't usually go real dramatic, but I still like to do a wing. Just because it makes my eye, it seems like to lift it and, you know, I like that look. No, let's not go. No, you won't. So I'm going to do the same over here. Little short strokes. I like when they have these felt tip brushes. To me, that's a little bit easier to control.
shoot. So that was the Anastasia black um, eyeliner. Sometimes I'll make it thicker, but you know. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, though, I happened to actually call yesterday because I thought that I had heard when the governor, Missouri governor, finally um, started saying, okay, yeah, this is official. There is a stay at home order. I thought that, or there was like a curfew. I guess I was kind of, it won't get that drastic unless they implement martial law. And we're not the, at that point yet. But I thought I heard something, you know, you need to be in by 6 p.m. every day. Go out only for your essentials and be in by 6 p.m. I found out that's not true. I actually called the police department and asked them. <laughs> so I found out that's not true. And they said, well, they know people still have to go to work and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, but could you get pulled over? Would you have to prove that you're, you know, going to work? And she's like, no, it's not. It's not on that level. I'm like, oh, okay. So, um, it's kind of just make it official what we've already been doing the last few weeks anyway. I'm putting on mascara, y'all, to ready my lashes for the falsies. So, yep. And my thoughts in general about all of this is, well, you already know. Um, I really, I kept intending to do that and I haven't. I want to go up to the hospital and just kind of see what it looks like on a weekday. Because, baby, when I went in there on Sunday, oh, it was a ghost town. It scared me. Where are all the people? I mean, I was, granted, I was in a medical tower. I wasn't in the actual hospital. Ugh. Okay. You know what? So I moved a few months ago and I moved in with one of my first cousins, um, she, my mom and her mom were sis, our sisters. Um, and so I've got all my jewelry, but it's kind of like all packed away still. And I haven't figured out a way to organize things in a way where I can show it. I, I kind of wanted to do this part earlier because I want to come on later and show some jewelry. I really need to do that. I was supposed to be doing that this past these past few weeks and I just haven't. And I need to get it together for real. So, yeah, so I plan to where are my eyelashes. Job with my lashes. So, yeah, I'm thinking about um Dang, these are the ones sitting close to me, and I didn't want to put on this fluffy. But I'm like, eh, what the heck, what the heck. So, yeah, I'm going to pull together some things. Because I've still been getting some things. Not a whole lot, because I'm, like, in conservation mode. Um, But, yeah, I got stuff. And I need to show it. So pray for me, sis. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to put on lashes. I'm putting <laughs> Stop for play, play. <laughs> I know that's 
That's right. She got stuff just sitting up. What the heck is my problem? It is not for play play. <laughs> don't want to do that. Girl. I don't want to use those lashes because that defeats the whole point. The point of today was a soft glam or like a wearable look. And you wouldn't wear lashes that big to work. Well, I'll say I wouldn't. So hold on. Let me reach down here. Boom. Got them. They weren't as far out of reach as I thought. So I usually wear my Coco Goddess lashes for every day. Yeah, y'all, he's putting a fire under my butt about that. You gotta get it together. So now I'm using the duo glue that comes in the tube. And I'm getting ready to put glue on the lash band. So I got a little drop of glue right there. And let me get my little dental pick. There's my dental pick. Woo! So I'm just putting glue on the lash band. Just kind of brush it on there, especially on the ends. Cause that's where these things like to not stick down and they will drive you up the wall when those edges don't stick down oh i posted a video i don't know if you saw that patricia on my um, timeline called The Wake Up Call. It is a really good movie. It's about an hour and 45 minutes long. It was filmed here in St. Louis. And it is a Christian-based story. Bomb. When you want, you know, some clean entertainment that has the gospel message. It's really nicely put together. So if you get opportunity, Pat, Sister Pat, you and whomever's listening, check that out. It was a really good movie. I've been trying to support locals because they're the ones that can be suffering the most during times like this. I know because I am one. I'm like a local business. <laughs> um, and we can suffer the most in times like this. So... Like for lunch today, I um got some barbecue from a friend from Damaris. You know him, um, Pam. I mean, Patricia. Okay, so here I come with the lash. It's got glue on it. Yep, and I'll, I can tag you in it so you can see it. It's a really good movie. And some people who go to and have gone to our church our characters in the movie it's really nice so you're supposed to come from up above you're supposed to look down into a mirror like I am here and place the lash like that Now I'm clamping them together, my lash and the uh, false one. When I'm not doing the live, I usually place it like this. I can actually see it on the lash line. What I'm doing now is grabbing it and pushing it into the skin so it can stick. Being careful not to poke myself. I love when they flare out at the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on the next lash. 
And we still got lipstick to go. I still got my bottom lash line to go. So we're almost done. So here's that lash. Going in. Pushing that in, you'll see. Now, okay. Lower lash line. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a small bullet brush like this. And I could use one of the browns out of the palette, but I think I'm going to go with something a little different. Okay, I sure will, Pat. Come out of there. This is um, ABH Norvina, one of their little bitty palettes. And there's a real, there's some really pretty colors. I want something bright under there. Let's see. Woo, she's pretty. I just gotta do something bright. But I could, I just wanted something like a pretty bright color under there. to my wing. I didn't mean to do that. I might be able to just
405, okay. All right, y'all, so you got that. Now, if you're doing a go to work look, you don't have to. Sometimes I like to put a splash of color. I don't want to be loud, boisterous color every day. Um, Cause ain't nobody got time for that anyway. Um, but it's fun to do that. Okay, hopefully these lashes are behaving. Now, for daytime wear, I'm going to go with a kind of a nude look as far as lipstick. This is Pure Hollywood. It's a liquid lipstick by Anastasia. I love Anastasia in case y'all hadn't noticed. Oops. So this is Pure Hollywood. It's a really like a peachy beige. And normally you would think, girl, you can't rock that color. But if you do it the right way, you can. Being a brown girl. So I got my pencil. This is Cork. The color Cork by MAC. Nowhere to go! Believe I'm going in the den to watch some TV. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go get Mikey. He asked me to come get him. He ready to get out the house now. Okay, so I do that both before and after. So now, here I go with the color. Woo, I feel like I put too much. I had some gloss on, so it kind of, mm. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. I know it's looking crazy, I know it's looking crazy. I should have took some of the gloss off. So. See how that's blending y'all? I really should have took off a little bit of that lip gloss. Because this is a matte liquid lipstick. Oh, I just have to work it a little bit. It's doing what I want it to do. So. Anywho. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Oh, I didn't put any blush on. What did I forget? A little blush would be nice. Child, I didn't bring no blush over. Sometimes I'll grab my eyeshadows and use a blush use it as a blush but neither of these colors will work for what I want to do sometimes you can go without a blush you know you don't always have to have and then there those are whoo 
Wicked Bright. I'm scared. I don't want to put one of those as a blush because it won't be subtle enough. I didn't grab any blushes down. Okay. Let me touch up a little bit. So, hold please. Dang it. That one brush of mine. Okay. a matte color just right under this arch it was just a little dab on this little bitty brush Now, one thing I never show, but I always do, and you need to do, is setting spray. I'm glad I thought of it this time. So this is Urban Decay All Nighter. The purpose of this is to kind of melt everything into your skin. Let me look at this lippy. So it calms all those powders down so you won't look all cakey. So, makeup look a little more lived in instead of picky so pretty much y'all that's it can do your makeup as you can see all the stuff you do to your face is pretty much the same I just didn't do all that eye stuff so but sometimes I'll add a pop of color like I did there that lash don't want to behave heck this one either right in the inner corner But, yep, that's it. So, y'all, if you don't mind, as you watch this video, please share out. I wanted to, like I said, come to you and do a soft glam look that didn't involve, didn't involve a bunch of cut crease and all that kind of stuff. Just something simple that you can run out the door. Normally, I don't take even this long because I'm not usually talking through it when I'm, you know, getting ready for work or whatnot. But yeah, that is pretty much the look. Sometime I'll add a little extra sparkle. This is um, MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And um, sometimes if you want just a little more sparkle or whatnot, if you can see that I don't go too crazy on this because my skin is so textured with all these moles that I don't want to draw too much attention so but yep yeah, that's it y'all so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll try to incorporate more of these type looks um, so that you can kind of get an idea of how to do your own makeup. One thing that probably a lot of us are learning in these quarantine times is we're going to need to learn how to do stuff for ourselves because of uh, 
first of all, you probably want to save some money. And second of all, we can't get to nobody. Now, let's see. My toenails looking atrocious. I don't know how to do them, but I'm going to figure it out. And my nails. I usually just cut them short and put clear polish on, so I'll do that later. But anyway, um, as far as makeup, oh, thank you, Patricia. You're so sweet. Okay, y'all have a great evening, and I will catch you next time. I'll actually be back later showing a few pieces of uh, $5 jewelry. That $5 bling. Thank you, Mary Elle, for the hearts. So, y'all stay tuned, and I will check you out later. Bye.